Ooh. Hey all, so today I'm going to be getting a diva cut. Not just any diva cut, no, my first diva cut. Luckily, my stylist was nice enough to let me record the whole thing. So why don't you just sit down, relax, and uh, join me on this journey. A diva cut is a special kind of curly haircut. It's where they cut your hair dry in its natural state. Here we're taking some before pictures. Here, Pam was asking me about my current routine, which products I was using, and what are my main hair problems. She gave me some tips on which products to use and how to use them in order to achieve my goals. And it begins. A diva cut is ideal for curly hair because every single curl is very unique in its amount of shrinkage. When you get a traditional haircut where they wet it and comb it out, that's why your hair always ends up crooked afterwards because they're treating all your curls the same, but they're all different. Do not confuse a dry cut with a diva cut. They are not the same thing. Surprisingly, she didn't cut off a lot. If you want to get a diva cut, you do not have to go to a diva curl salon. Although that would be pretty dope. All you have to do is go to the diva curl website and go to find a stylist and you put your zip code and it actually gives you a list of salons and people who are trained to give diva cuts. There are also three levels of diva cut stylists, one, two, and three. Pam is a level three stylist, which means it's the highest certification. Along with the Diva Cut, I am also getting the No Poo Transformation Service, a signature in the Diva Cut. I actually have never had my hair professionally styled before, so I've never put my hair like in this fancy sink tub thingy, and my neck was cramping up so bad and it was on fire because I totally didn't put my neck in there right. So uh, just a warning for you newbies. Here, Pam is showing me how to properly distribute the conditioner in my hair in order to really get ultimate moisture. Basically, she split my hair into sections and she finger combed the conditioner through every single section until it felt like seaweed. As you can see, this section of hair is like super silky and soft and frizz free and defined. After the wash, it's time for styling. She used a whole bunch of Diva Curl products that I don't even remember, but basically she glazed it over my hair and she scrunched it into my hair until I heard a squishy sound. Then she scrunched my hair with a microfiber towel. She added some duckbill clips or Diva clips on my roots to lift up my roots to give me some more volume. After the clips, she diffused. Now it is time for drying. This is actually my first time in a hooded dryer, okay? I'm not used to the fancy life, y'all. <laughs> What's wrong? It's hot. Go tell her it's hot. I don't know where she at. My, my hair's gonna fall off. <laughs> Get you in my set back back in there. I don't know where she's at. So I was in the dryer for about 30 minutes and after drying my hair, it's time to break the cast. Basically all the products create like this crystal cast and you just scrunch out the crunch so that your hair is really nice, soft and bouncy. And here are the final results. Alrighty, so here are the final results of the cut. Honestly, I like it. It's nice and all that, but it's so much shorter than what I planned. 
Before I went into the salon, I don't know what happened. She just kind of convinced me to go shorter uh, because I had a lot of split ends and a lot of straggly pieces. So like what she was saying made sense of why I should cut those pieces off, but it was like, it was those pieces that were giving me the length. So I'm a little upset. But in the end, I know that those kinds of cuts have to be done because those split ends were just gonna keep riding up and they were. But I mean, my hair was freaking to my belly button. So this is definitely really short compared to what I had it at before. Overall, I really enjoyed the experience. My stylist was so kind. She's such a sweetheart. I really liked her. And she did take her time with my hair. One thing that I did not expect was for her to kind of like rake through my hair and pick up the pieces. I've never had a diva cut, so I don't know if that's how you're supposed to do it. But I was like cringing when she was like lightly raking. It wasn't that bad. Like she wasn't straight up like, uh, uh, uh. But it was like a very light, uh. But I was like, whatever, this is a diva cut. She knows what she's doing. So hopefully that's the way you're supposed to do it because that's what she did. Um, in the end, it did come out even, so let me show y'all. So here's the back. My curls look really thick and juicy and just really thick. My hair used to be to here, so um, yeah, it, I got a, quite a bit cut off. So when they wash your hair and style it, it's called the transformation service, the no poo transformation service. And I have never had my hair like professionally styled. So that was pretty neat. This is something that I've heard very consistently among other people who have gotten diva cuts that they use a buttload of product. Like she used conditioner, leave-in conditioner, deep conditioner, spray, spray gel, gel, mousse, like, so many frick, so many freaking products. Um, and my hair is very weighed down easily. So right now, this is definitely not how my hair is going to look when I do my basic routine. It's gonna be probably a lot bigger and a lot curlier. So, I mean, this is the results that I got from their service, which is cool, whatever, it's nice. Pero like it's not my style, you know? In the end, I really did desperately need like a mini big chop to get rid of all that dead hair that I had. And now I can officially say I will be growing out my hair from this point on. No more freaking haircuts, only trims on the ends of my hair and not trims by this trim I just got. Like real legit trims that I will be doing myself of like an inch or half an inch or so. Alrighty y'all, so that was my diva cut experience. I really hope that you guys enjoyed coming along with me on that journey. Please let me know down below what you think of my haircut or if you have ever had a diva cut and your experience with that. If you would like for me to make a video on how to find a diva salon or a diva stylist, let me know down below in the comment section and if enough of you request it, then I will probably do it. Also, a heads up, I have a lot of videos that are pre-recorded for the next coming weeks since I'm in school. I pre-record a lot of videos during the summer, so my new haircut will not be in any of the newer videos coming in the next few weeks. So don't get confused, that's on purpose. So yeah, comment, like, and subscribe if you like what I'm doing here on this channel. It really helps me to grow on this platform. Please leave comments slash suggestions down below of things you would like me to do slash discuss on this channel. And if you want to follow me on any of my social media, I will leave all those links down below. Thank you for watching and I hope you have a great day. Bye.